Hello everybody and welcome back to Lost Souls. In today's episode, well, I've been doing a few bits and pieces off camera, like building another mob farm on the um in the overworld. So let's have a look. Not that that first of all, but let's make something first. We've got our purple slime ball. We put it into the um uh, bonsai hopper, we should have plenty of slime balls. And I'm going to make I've already done this, but I'm gonna do it anyway. So the bubble one should be here. So I want a couple of these. We'll take two. I think two's good. So we want to make some night slime ingots and night slime seeds. So we need now have I got some in here? So look, because I just put some stuff into here. I've got 21 seared bricks. So I need I think I need basically eight. Let's push that one back in here. Because I've used the grout up. So I think it uses one of these. One of these will make a I think you need two ingots for um a slime per slime ball and two pieces of iron to make night slime. Let's have a look. I think that's what we need. I might be wrong with this I might be wrong with the seared blip brick but I think if we do this we should end up with some as long as nothing's turned on it isn't good so those those might smelt very quickly and I think well the other two are about the same speed aren't they liquid purple slime so if we have a use look at the uses of that one we can do it like this so we've got 144 so that's basically I might need twice as much that's one ingot's worth So that's half of that's basically half. So for one of slime ball, well, I need two ingots of seared stone, and um, yeah, one one ingot of iron. So what have we got here? Not enough seared stone. I thought so. Right. So we need um, say two ingots. We need another four. Oops, that's not quite four, is it? You click that in there. So what have we got here? So we have got some molten night slime here, one ingot's worth of that. Well, we can extract that out. What have we got in here? Uh, and I, an ingot cast, let's just do that one. Now for a seed, we need four of these. Well, I've already made the seed. So let's have a look at the uses of that one. It's only a tier three seed anyway. So you can have a look at the uses. So we can make a night slime seed like this. So I've already made the night slime seed and I've had it in the in a cloche for a while. So we've got plenty of, oops, a bit high here. We've got plenty of night slime seeds in here, as you can see. I've extended this as well. And I also found a way how to get these Enderman heads in here. So this bit here is from the um, Overworld uh, mob grinder. So we've got seven of these, whatever the spiders or things they are. We've got some. These are only used in brewing these ones, what are they called? I can't remember the name of them. Which is warts. They're only used for brewing. But it's basically it's the a glowstone equivalent as a, a time extender. And I've got four Enderman heads and one evolved Enderman head, which actually has very little uses. It does have one use. And I think these are the important ones, these here, what have we got here? <laughs> Chalicera or something like that, spider drop. The use of that one is the. I think we can make these. Yes, we can. So we can make spider charm fragments and cave spider charm fragments. So they can't see us, which is actually great. So we need a, about 42 of those. Uh, six. So we'll look at the numbers. But 36, 72. So we need 72 of those. For some reason. So that's why I built the mob farm, basically. Let's just check in here. Um, oh, was that empty? No, I couldn't, didn't think it was empty. Never is. <laughs> it's going out. Now, usually in the back here, I've got something. Oh, I can't get it in this. Yeah, I've got a bow in here. So I really want to block the bows off from coming in here because that blocks it all up all together. So I need the, um, if I can get it out here, let's get this. Yes, I can. Let's get this out of here. It could probably get blocked again with one of the other items. So I need these three. So oh, let's shift right click this right click this one. Okay, I could put a bow in here, no problem. Let's put the bow into that one. 
Let's have a look, which is the one we want with all of the items in it. Must be this one here, blacklisted, yes. Okay, let's right click this. And let's remove these three here and then put these three into that. So, one, two, three. And that should actually exclude bows from that selection now. So let's put this back into here. And it will also exclude iron helmets, of course. Remove the iron helmet out of here like that. And put this into here. I do intend to make one more beheading upgrade. So let's have a quick sort. I usually do this. Sort it out. Go and have a look at these things. If anything good on it, I'll keep it. Excavation 2 sounds like a decent one. Not seen that before. Lower 3 and mending. Mending's always a good one to have. Could put it on anything. Almost anything. Anyway. I'm breaking one. And the rest of these are relatively not so exciting. So we can sort those out. And just swap them over. So that basically turns that one off. And turns this one on. Which is basically chucking them away. Yeah, they weren't unduly exciting this time. But lure three, I've already got some lure three bows and uh, things in here anyway. I've forgotten this one. Depth Strider one. I don't know what it's doing in there. Doing there because I've got no space in here. <laughs> Let's take these bows out and put the. There's two boots in there and put the bows in the other one. Uh, bows. Rods, fishing rods. Because I've usually got mending. Look at the sea mending. You see some really good ones here. Curse of the Vanishing. Curse of the Vanishing. I actually don't know what that is. I've got to look it up. I meant to look it up between episodes and I forgot. And about rare level one. No, let's get rid of that. I don't know what's got to me. Actually. My inventory. Let's get rid of that. And then swap them two over. So that stops it going out. And this stops it. Allows them to come through again. Let's double check that we've got nothing in the back. Because if it does get stuff in the back, it does block. So there we are. Good. So we'll go and have a look at that next, I think. We'll just double check our quest because I know I've completed the quest. We completed Overworld last time, didn't we? Oh, no, I want to check and share the, the uses of that. The, it was just a cry. Uh, nope. Well, ignore the Night Slam stuff. I haven't put this back either. And the mob spawner I built is exactly the same as the other one, so I haven't bothered to show you, as it were. So the one I built in the nether is just basically exactly the same design. Cursed earth with a, a cave and a drop to a um, mob masher. But of course then I could actually put some of the other ones in. So for example, we haven't got Bane of Anthropods in there, which we could actually put in. And the other one was a uh, fire aspect. Flint, I could do that one without too much difficulty, couldn't we? Um, yeah, maybe we'll do that. So, Anthropods was um, Spider Eye, wasn't it? Look, how many Spider Eyes have we got in here? 63. So, we need um, 10, 40. We need 40 of these. Let's just take all of those out and then split it up. That'll do, won't it? I think it's what we need. Oh. Why's that just bit up there? Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, never mind. Tell you what. Put those three in there and I'll do the others. We need some gold nuggets, don't we? Lots of gold nuggets. And we need some iron ingots. And actually, we are getting iron ingots as a as a drop from something or that. Don't ask me what we're getting iron ingots as a drop from, but we are. Um, a flint is what I wanted. I think flint's in one of these chests here like this. It is. Plenty of flint. Let's take that. So flint and steel, how much steel have I got in here? Iron, have we got in here? We've got flint and steel. Actually, what is might be it is steel, is it? Let's have a look for flint and steel. I've forgotten already. So, no, no, no. This one we can probably do. Let's do the bane of anthropods. 15, exactly. Let's split that into three. Put that back. Then we'd only ever get 10. Oh, 
And then the other one is fire aspect. So what do we need for flint and steel? It is a piece of steel. Well, that's going to take a bit longer to do, but that's probably not such a problem. Let's just let it going anyway. And then we'll go then we'll go over to the overworld, I think. So I need some ironing at Selby down here. So we'll take a stack of iron ingots and we'll take a stack of coal. I think coal is a drop from something as well. I did pick up one. Yep, yeah, good. We'll put the coal into the coke oven and we'll put the coke, the steel, and the iron into the blast furnace. Oh, it's got, oh, it has got. It's already got some stuff here, but it's run out of coal. Look. Okay, good. And in here. We've got plenty. We've got swap it over. Where did my collage is? Take these out of here. Put those into there. And fill it up with iron again. So that'll fill up nicely. And you probably end up with some of these slag. I think you get one slag per coal. So per coal coke. So we'll leave that to run. Just wondering how many I should do. In fact. Fire aspect will help because it makes things go a bit faster, doesn't it? Slack, I've got some slack in here. Some slack there. In fact, I've got those. We can push the others back. I don't know where I can go. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll put it in the spare place over here. We've got some aluminium in here. So the rest we can simply. Nope. Redstone. We need to get rid of the redstone. The other thing I did was to make some glue. I'll take a piece of leather. Any leather will do. This one will do fine. So the uses of this one is we can make in this stoked cauldron, stoked cauldron, not crucible, we can get some glue. And the other recipes for glue are basically the other types of leather. You can even use, it's all the same basically, eight leather straps or one piece of leather. So all you do with that, so you're going to put that into the stoked crucible, no cauldron, which is the one at the back. Wait a bit of time and you will get some glue. So that goes into here. And you see it's starting to work. I think it takes a few seconds to work. But with that one, let's have a look at this. Let's have a look at the water wheel. The other thing I made was a water wheel. <laughs> if I spell it right. So I got some tips between episodes. Well, basically pointing out the last episode was an April Fool's joke, which was a bit late since it was about eight o'clock in on the second of eight o'clock in the morning on the second of April. <laughs> I think somebody's clocks went wrong. Even in America, I think even on the west coast of America, GMT time it would have been one o'clock in the morning. So water wheel is no that's X and helio. I don't know why that was useful to me, really. Can't see if it. Ah, this one here. Water wheel. So you need eight wooden blades. Wooden blades are just basically some oak slab, uh, slabs, sidings. Oak slabs with a piece of glue. And the glue we get from that, like this. That's uh, how we get our glue. I shall leave that and I don't need it for now. I'll move some stuff around. Move the plant pots around. Did I show you that last time? Anyway, let's go to the overworld now. Have I got everything I need? I need my magnet. Yes, I've got that. I've got my jetpack. I've got my slime boots. Okay, let's. I haven't got enough XP. Let's get some more XP. I don't lose XP this way. I think we lose XP when we went through the. Um, through the shell con shell containers. Right. So we want to go to the overworld portal. And you'll see I put a few spikes around here just for the sake of using up the spikes and keeping any mobs around out of the way. And this is here. Sh they shouldn't be spawning but they do. So the water wheel I put over here like that. And I put a saw on it. The reason I put a saw on it is because we need to get sidings and to make 
chest or whatever and it's a very simple thing you just have to make sure you put it onto an axle and so the height of it is how many blocks is it up one it's just two blocks from it's three blocks we need one block underneath the water there one block of water put the running water on this bit just so it just pushes it around like that underneath it so you've got one block here one block and then the, the water with its uh, the gearbox with an axle you don't need to worry about wind because it doesn't happen and here i've just simply put that so let's go and have a look at that the mob spawner is over here and as you can see there should be looks like the mobs in here isn't there and there are listen you can hear them getting bashed away So what I've got to do is I've got to remove this block here and then right click this and then I can shift click these into that like that. See I was, one, I was one, short of one beheading. Now those two will have disappeared and they'll have disappeared into the chest. Let's get those out of the chest. See it's got witch's hat. Oh that's the first one of those. I haven't seen one of those yet. So we put this back on here and then we can put this, the lever on it. And turn it on again. There's no windows just because of creepers. Because one of my goals was also to make a creeper charm. Uh, maybe a witch charm, a creeper charm, whatever else. And on the top of it, I put a, a chunk loader. So we kept it loaded when we're actually not in the overworld. There's a few walls. I ain't sure whether those wolves are actually a problem or not, to be honest with you. They do they do bite sometimes, or they try to. They get a bit cross. Oh, and I did put an ender tether on there as well. As you saw, that enderman flashed past. So that's all I've done in the overworld so far. Not much. I've also been rather unobservant. <laughs> because if you look at the minimap, there is a... Um, a sport a slime island just over there <laughs> now it's night time see they like they like committing suicide these wolves and it's night time so we can sleep and sometimes they just get attacked from in here it's very strange last time I was here I got withered so let's put this on again there are a few more things I've found See? Suicide. I might be over here. Oh, yes, I've been over here. You know what I should be making? There are lots of, lots of blue slimes. We can grab a few of these. Is that a magical one? Oh, yes, it is. So you can see is we can keep going at him. Let him come back. What I'm basically doing here is making sure we get some slime balls. Uh, maybe we even get a heart, who knows. Oh, I did cut out a few hearts doing this, so. As you see, you get strength. Now something's just been increased. Is that a lot? Oh, yeah. Let's just go down and get our whatever it is we're getting. Oh, interesting. Also a pickaxe there. Maybe we'll pick it up. What do we pick up? <laughs> actually, efficiency two, smelting. Smelting might not be too bad actually. We got some slime chunks. That's it. Eighty slime balls of blue. And that's not too bad. I'd like to go and find it. What would I like to go and find? Oh, that's base, right? So over here, I found a village. And I found so. Oh, Bob Big Bat to tell me these were abyss, abyssal craft. I think is what it is. And there are goodies underneath these things. And this one's the big one because it's got the um, 
uh, the sea lanterns on it on the corners here I think so I'll have to go and attack one of those at some stage yeah another slime island and what I'm looking for is a blue one I think they do exist blue ones I'm not going to bother attacking this which is done the last one I'm going over to the village and the other thing that are here are um, meteors I found a few meteors between episodes I was just going around see if I could find a blue slime island plenty of purple ones around there's plenty of different biomes here as well this is also what we on maple woods I suppose that's about right isn't it so plenty of beehives so those are winter beehives and you know I quite like doing bees they're very time consuming if you do it the proper way but, but with gen industry they're dead easy Almost, almost cheaty as it happens. Is there anyone I've not been around here? Let's go over this way. What's over there? An underworld fortress. Oh yes, I found a, a fortress. Just by floating around here like this. I'd quite like to find another... Um, let's control go a bit faster. So there you go. So we'll have to tackle that at some stage. I'm not sure how difficult these things are. <laughs> but they've got blight guardians. Wow, fantastic. What's it going over? I'm pressing control again to get a bit faster. So fast it doesn't have time to redraw. Maybe that's such a good idea. That's an interesting thing. What in the earth is that? Steps. Oh. I'm sure that's something very special. <laughs> I'm not sure I'm 100% ready to go into that yet. Maybe somebody could tell me what it is. <laughs> it looks inviting. Let's just have a look. Let's put a, let's put a marker down this one. <laughs> so we'll say... Stairs. Whatever's there is a mob. Oh look, what is this thing here? Let's start, um, let's press F. Let's right click it and sh I've got no idea what this thing is. Press one. But it looks like a big mob. Why are actually attacking it? Look at that, I'm attacking it. Let's look and see how much damage this thing does. So I'm sure it's not a passive mob. <laughs> What's it telling me? Oh, there's more of them. And they hit quite hard, don't they? How much health does he have? 297. I still don't know what. It's. Oh, okay. Right, whatever they are, they, they come up. <laughs> My katana's breaking, so I have to be careful with this one. Actually, she's not doing too much to my health, so I might carry on for a bit. See what they drop. Oh, it's fallen out. 190 yards, gosh. I bet my katana's going to break <laughs> before I finish doing this lot. But of course with the health ceiling on here it's not such a big problem is it? I suspect my katana's going to break any second now. I don't think this is doing any damage to them is it? So I'm going to just quickly repair my katana. It's probably how much has it got? 30, okay. So let's go and get this. Then, uh, Manidium, isn't it? Put one of those back. That back into there. Put this into... Has it gone to here like that? 
just click that down. Let's get these into ourselves, actually. So we got to another colour of orange now. All right, let's get back down here. Lots of oh, okay, so there's Abyssal Craft again. 101 going down fast. Come on, you guys. But there's nothing specially magical about them. Since I've never seen these, I'm going to. And I'm not sure I'm using the best weapon. It looks like I am. Thirty-three. He's got about to go. We're getting a bit closer. Three hundred and eight. <laughs> it's going to take a long time for us to get rid of this guy. I think one of them just died, doesn't it? Because I've got strength. In fact, how much is he? How much is he? Two hundred and fifty-four. Okay. <laughs> Keep looking at my health, by the way. That's the second one down. 174. I'm not sure if they're dropping anything either. Oh, my food has gone down a bit. I have to feed myself up in a minute. Let's just do that now. If I'm supposed to be doing anything smart with this guy just except for hitting him. How much has he got now? Hundred and seventeen. Fifty-one. <laughs> Thirty-five. Twenty-three. Got him. And a heart. Oh, two hearts, that's actually not too bad. So, I have no idea what those are. I'll have to do some research. <laughs> Whatever it was, I got some more hearts out of it. Did they drop anything? No, I don't think they dropped anything, did they? Because I haven't seen anything on my stuff there. Anyway, we were going off to the village, weren't we? I'm wasting time here. But I suppose a bit of exploration is not a bad thing to do every once in a while. So what do we see here? Cows. Another Abyssal Craft thing. Lots of sheep. Oh yes, that's something else we could do. I want to make a squid ring. I've actually prepared her for that actually. I'm caught a sheep. We've got some more beehives there. Probably should make myself a, a harvester. What were those darklands? I don't know about much about darklands, but I'm not even. I'm also not sure whether I should make another um, base here. And if I do want to make a base, what type of base do I want to do? Because here I put down here um, a, la a, a lantern, as you can see. Now it's coming up to night time, so these guys are going to go to bed. I wonder if we can speak to any of them. Let's just go press F on that. Otherwise, I end up shooting them, and I don't want to do that. So wool for emeralds. Emeralds for shears. Okay. I've got any emeralds with me. Is there anybody in these buildings or are all the all dead? They shouldn't be too dead because I did put up that mega torch when I came arrived here first of all. No, nothing Oh yeah, one in here. <laughs> Let's close the door. That's the same one, the shepherd I guess, is it? Yes. Well, it looks a bit of a bit of a quiet village, doesn't it? We can get some beetroot, of course. What else have they got here? Beetroot seeds. Normal beetroot, beetroot seeds. We've got, already got wheat, carrots we've already got. Carrots, yes, very nicely organised farm plots. 
And I think that's all they've got, isn't it? There aren't very many villages around, but it is coming up to night time. So I guess this is desert. They've got weird mobs over here too. Look at this one. And these creepers are quite tough enough. One of them throws TNT at you, which is uh, which is actually not so nice. But these but these blight spiders are great. They invariably drop hearts. And they got a spider jockey as well. Not high enough, huh? And all I have to do is stand here with holding my right mouse button down. It's not too difficult. Even for me. <laughs> With unbreakable tools and the rest of it is uh, quite interesting. It should be able to get rid of it fairly quickly. I, especially if I can get my. Especially, there he goes. I didn't drop one this time. No. Right, let's go back to base. And, and you see, there's some forest hives here as well. That's a um, water spider. What do they make? Noises. No spiders made noises. That's interesting. What's quite good, of course, is that the creepers can't see me. I don't even need to move, just hold it here, it comes straight to me. It's good, isn't it? <laughs> As we get a bit nearer, of course, it'll start picking up stuff. We didn't drop any arts either. But lots of XP. Oh, and lots of spider eye too. It's just. So what we. No, we should be alright. We should be able to pick it all up. So we got some of this chelicerea, what's how it's pronounced? Nitra. Oh, okay. Right. Let's go back to base. I've got my warp stone, I think. Base. So that's what I think in between episodes, what I'm probably going to do is to build a base in the sky a bit, I think. With a builder. So after spending the first ha half an hour just killing mobs, let's just uh, go and recharge the jetpack and make a few bits and pieces. Let's turn the jetpack off because it's a bit of a nuisance when it's on. Let's put this one up here like this and then right click it. It uses quite a lot of power, but I've got slime boots on, which basically doesn't give me so much protection, but it's fine. So we put that one in there and then that one. That's already finished. I also did another round of um, withers. This time I put in 80 soul sand. And sure enough, I got the 32. So I've basically got, I've already taken out the, in fact, let's do that. Yes, I've remembered this one. I want to do this. What I'm talking about is tier two um, growth crystal. Because at the moment, I don't know how the water situation is doing. Let's have a look. Let me run out of water. So that might be a bit of a problem for the plants to carry on growing. So let's just pick up this. Use efficiency two pickaxe. Make some use out of a oh that was fast, wasn't it? And let's turn this into a a, a tier two growth crystal. What was preventing us before was just nether stars, I think. 
So if we have a look at the uses of where, oh gosh, I've got so much stuff. Let's get rid of some of the stuff I've got on me. That should get rid of quite a bit because all of the mob drops that we just got in here, which will come into here anyway. So we've now got 11 of these things. They take quite a lot of time, but these are coming on nicely. Now these are great because these are anti-creeper stuff. And I think I need 36. So we're up. We can do that one, that charm. Well worth doing, I reckon. Anything, any, anything that prevents us from being attacked by creepers is a good thing. So let's have a look at the uses of this. So here we have this one. Now can I do that? Am I in the right place? I think I have got enough of this stuff. Where has it gone to? And uh, this is the amethyst block and I have got it somewhere I know. Uh, this one. Let's have a look at the uses of that. Just smelt it. So that'll give us 12. That'll be enough. Let's just put that into here. Obviously run out of coal. Yep, let's take this out of here and get some more coal. Have we got any coal in here by any chance? 31. Uncompressed coal. If I do know what I should do, I should upgrade this. Let's do that as well. So we need a block of um, Supremium Essence. Okay, it's outside. Right, I'll do two things at once. Let's also eat a bit. Press F on that one. While we're eating, we can jump down here. I get hit by the electric, get shocked. So now, Supreme Essence is in this one. We've got 52. So we're going to need a block of that, I think. I think this will be enough. A guard dog sitting at the bottom of the stairs now as well, keeping us safe. Yeah, we need this block of supreme in essence. We can take away the the oven. Let's do that. <laughs> Where has it gone to? Uh, uh, it'll end up in here, I guess. Yep. <laughs> So now we need to upgrade this. So we look at the uses of that. It's as simple as that. So we've got what we need. So now we've got a supreme oil. Might as well do the coal as well, and then we can complete that quest. I think this is the one as well. We just basically, if I remember right, it's just that goes in the top left hand corner. You just need two pieces of essence, and then we get our supremium coal, which I'm going to put back into here. So because we completed that quest now and then I can put the rest of the stuff in here so let's do this oh it's already done where's it gone to oh there so this should go even faster let's put that in there oh yes ah, that's nice and fast faster than the hopper can cope with it brilliant okay so we've got that stuff now let's have a look we're upgrading this thing, bit of a, an aside, wasn't it? But it's well worth doing it. We can do this one easily enough. So, not one. Let's have a look again, recipe for this. So, we're missing one pane of glass. That's a pain, haha. Uh -huh. Yep. I like bad jokes. So, now I've got those two. So, we need. I think it's a block of this, isn't it? So I guess it's just a block. Yep. What else do we need? A block of nether stars. Oh, and reinforced... Reinforced blocks. Oh, we can do that as well. We need four. Actually, that's not too much of a difficulty. Just one set of those. Now we should be able to upgrade this thing. Fantastic, look at that. A tier 2 growth crystal. Now let's go and put that down. 
and in the meantime let's also come along here and just check what we're going to put into that was projectile projection three smelting smelting might be quite useful actually i'm not sure i've got any smelting ones put that on the pickaxe you break something of course then the pickaxe will automatically smelt it for you what we got in here protection for eyewall magnet three that's that's a really quite a decent one but don't need it we've got all of those i think yes i think that's good so i'll put these slime balls away in here as well where am i keeping the slime balls in this one yes 18 i've gone over my limit now i'll put those chunks in there and we can put these into here like that good right let's go and put this slime let's go and put this tier 2 crystal down and I'm not sure what how much faster the stuff will grow with this but it will grow a lot faster you see this is actually blocked <laughs> so I think it's around about here Are we seeing any significant growth in differences in here? It is an 11 by 11, but I don't think we've got any any signs of this. What have we got in here? Because that's blocked. I need my crescent hammer. Simply right click it. Oh, it's got some essence. Oops, just turn this around. Oh, yes, this is getting blocked. Ha ha ha. And there's some some seeds coming up. What was that I picked up there? There was more, wasn't there? Right, we have to go and fix this. Now, what will have happened? I'll have something. Oh, it'll be a witch's hat. The witch's hat will be picked in the back here of this one. Oh no, glass bottles, witches, of course. Yes. Okay. And the witch's hats we can also take out. I'm not sure how much use have we got of this one. Let's have a look. Right. Oh, actually, not too bad. Not useless. And witch's charm fragments. So they felt quite useful, in fact. So let's put this one up here. Um, I'm not sure which one I want to keep. Glass bottles, I guess, are probably going to get used up more. I'm going to put the witch's hat somewhere else. Have I got any more spare spaces? One. Up here. Let's put it up here. Like that. That'll get rid of the essence, and that'll come into there, of course. She's already got out. Right. Let's have a look at check these quests now because that's basically what the game's all about, isn't it? Completing quests. So survival's all done better with mods tinkering. We've got some quests completed. Night slime completed to make one ingot. Let's claim that reward. Done. So what have we got in here? Lava wood. Okay, we probably could do that one. Actually, it's probably straightforward. And tool expanders. This is the one we were stuck with, like night slime, weren't we? And that'll give us a so that would be quite good. A vertical and an horizontal expander from Tinker's Contract. Let's have a look at let's have a look at this loot chest first of all. Ah, fantastic. Just what we need. Ten pieces of gravel. So maybe I'm not gonna take loot chests when I get a decent reward like I did. I should really should have taken those supremium apples, shouldn't I? And never mind. So, so on. Tinker's Amu One Expander. So, that shouldn't be too difficult at all. Pistons. We've got any pistons? Obviously, we haven't got any pistons in here. And I've got a golden helmet in here for some reason or other. Protection four. I don't ask people. Oh yes, I do know why. That's to make the last. Um, oh, I've got a chicken in here. Golden lasso. Yes, let's just concentrate on one thing at a time. This was to make the last beheading upgrade. 
for that mob farm uh, in the overworld. So these here, we, we, oh, it's got a chicken, just a lasso the chicken. So with that, we can make a, a chicken wing, I think it's called. And that gives us another form of flight. I'm not going to do the creative one, it's far too expensive. So I've got four slime balls in here. Purple slime balls, we haven't got any. Let's go and get some. Because purple slime was a, something you can't get in there. So it's basically gated behind the overworld, isn't it? Let's just take a stack of these. Sort this out. I wonder if I should dump those blocks of slime. They're not much use, are they? Except for to make the odd bits and pieces. So now, what are we missing? Oh, nothing. That's the horizontal one done. And the vertical one, we can do that too. Fantastic. And we've actually completed a quest. Now, I would, in fact, put that on one of my um, tools. I'm not sure which one. I wonder if you can put them on swords. That would be quite neat, wouldn't it? Let's have a look. I really should have taken that bread out of there when I was doing that, shouldn't I? <laughs> what have we got in here? Have we got any more modifiers available on that one? I Probably not, actually. Um, this one we certainly should have a modifier. Is it shift? Because something upgraded when I was using it, and I can't remember which one it was. I think it might be this one. Well, I don't see any modifiers for either. Oh, was it even this? No, we've got to go a long way before we get to 64,000 on this one. Modifiers, silk touch, tack fire. I'm breaking. I don't see anything there. Oh, never mind. I won't waste time with that. I'll just put these away somewhere in one of these chests, which are all full. And that's got some space for crystals but this one's got some space in here which is where I've got some of the other Tinker's Construct stuff anyway right now let's put these slime balls into here give that a sword so that's that quest done we could actually do this one as well let's look at the uses of this so basically we can make a chicken wing I prepared the feathers. Got some. We got feathers because of the fish, because of the ground traps. So let's have a look at that one. Where have it gone to? Probably down the bottom, isn't it? Uses. So this is the one we want to make. I think. I would like to make the ring of the flying squad squid, but that's a squid. Okay, this is the one we got. A chicken wing. Make LSD so they should make. Oh, get the golden lasso back. Fantastic. And so it's a bauble slot and it requires 1 GP. And at the moment we've got 61 GP because I put that thing then. Oh, that was a quest. Okay, I didn't know that. So let's go and have a look at these quests. Right, so that was done. Let's claim that loot chest done. So basically, there's not much left, is there? Smart upgrades. What we were stuck on here, a slot upgrade. Uh, Okay, slot upgrade one and a redstone upgrade. The one I would like to do is the nether star one. And I think that's there as well, so, but we've probably got to do these first. So let's have a look at that one. Um, that's Tinker IO. This one. So we've got to do one of these. Okay, four chests, one of these. Right probably got to do two of these in fact let's just do two because we've got one f recipe for that maybe not maybe we need even more okay three one for the nether star and then two f one for each of these things chest we won't have a what's that one copper ingots no big deal chest we've got plenty of in here well, i say plenty i think i had plenty maybe i made something i thought i had about don't see them. I'll tell you what we'll do. Have we got any slabs in there? No sidings. I can't see any sidings. Okay, let's go and get some sidings. I'm always making sidings and I'm always using them. One thing I haven't done in the, in the overworld is to set up the automation of this one. 
like that. Which I probably could do. I've only got six items there, not enough. So we'll just put this stack in here like this. And that'll make. Actually, let's do two sets. Because it's not going to do any harm to have four stacks of sidings, is it? But we need to make four chests. Am I sure I've got a chest on me? I thought I had chests somewhere. No. I caught, I caught a zombie villager. And I've also caught this one. But he's, he can't be an aggressive model. Let's put him down. This grove thing. A grove sprite. Primitive mobs. And he's not showing up as red. So I guess he's not aggressive. But I don't know what he does. <laughs> except for it looks like a, he's got a tree on his head. You can't right click him. Except with the lasso. Well, I don't know. Let's leave him there, see if he does anything. Alright, sidings, I've got 20, 26. I need 32, so we'll just have to wait for the other 28. So we need four more. Which won't be too long. We just make noises. Seems to be interested in the pig. Nope. <laughs> right. So now let's make this one. Could bring this for a short time, won't we? Oh, goodness. Oh, he sort of talks. Let's take those to a 42 and put those in the chest when we make this stuff. So, let's have a look at the recipe for that. Let's have a look at the recipe for that. Uh, let's do those. Now the stars don't really help to make chests, four chests. So we should be able to make this thing now. And then we should also be able to make the redstone version of that. This is the redstone upgrade. So we need four blocks of redstone. Leather quartz, redstone. Let's go and get four blocks of redstone. There was another reason why it wasn't also too bad. Because he went into a golden lasso. Yep. I should I think I've already got made the other pieces. So the redstone comparator and the, I think they're in here. Yes, they are, look. Redstone, I've got them here, redstone repeaters and redstone comparators. So we should be able to make this one. Indeed we can, and that should complete that quest. But the one I want to make is this one. So we have to make, let's just have a look. Yes, we've got that one. So we can then upgrade this. Now I presume, let's have a look at this one. So, what we need to do is to make this one, but we need to go through this. So we need some manineum nuggets, that's no big deal. We need some night slime nuggets, that was the one that we, was giving me a problem. This one we could do, so that's no big deal. Night slime we've made, let's go and get that and convert that to nuggets. And at the same time collect one piece of manineum here. That needs nuggets as well. So let's just do where's it gone to? This one. This one, I guess is the same. Yep. So now we can actually do this thing, which is great. So we need to do this one first. Oh, I'm in the wrong place, aren't I? I need to be on the crafting table. I'll tell you what, let's do the uses of the other. Where's he gone to? Oh, yeah, there we go. Uses. 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 
What a beautiful block. Okay, so we need um, 16 blocks of glowstone. That shouldn't be too difficult. I've got glowstone growing here. Let's take a stack of that. That's, now, glowstone's actually not too bad. You just put it around the side here and you get 16. So that'll give me two stacks of that. So we need 16 blocks of this stuff, don't we? Let's just take... Oh! Oops. That'll be that much. <laughs> that'll do fine. So then we can make these these ones. Should be able to make two of those. And then we should be able to make this one, the fortune upgrade. Just like that. Shift fold for more information. Increases 30%. This is, oh, sorry, I moved that. Of triplication rate of the ore crusher. So if we go over here, and I go and put this into the ore crusher, we should get 100%. Now there is something else I noticed on here. Oh, I've removed the books. Why did I remove the books? That's 60% to start with of a chance of an extra one. Where did I put the efficiency books? That's a bit strange. This thing's just about charged up. It took quite a while to charge up. Now why did I even move those books out of that? I got a burnerang and I got a bladerang five. That's a pretty good weapon actually. I don't know how it is in this pack. But in Forever Stranded, that was my weapon of choice. Um, it's an, it's a, an enchant you put on the boomerang from Extra Utilities. And it used to one hit basically all mobs that weren't. Um, that didn't have armor on. So efficiency 5. I want. As if it's not efficiency, it's, loot, it's looting I want, isn't it? Oh, oops, I've spent well over my time. I do apologize. I'll tell you what, I didn't realize I'd gone up to 57 minutes. I do, anyway, I shall go and get the bits ready for that until next time. So I wish you all the best. Bye for now.